Hey there guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia and this is a special user submitted question video. Now where we got this question was, every day on the John Campia show, Monday through Friday, people send in questions, but on the rare occasion that somebody sends in a tip of like $50 or more, I like to honor that by not only answering the question on the show, but also answering it again later in its own standalone video. So that's what we're going to do right now. And this one comes to us from Brian Meadows who writes, I get annoyed by celebrities, especially during the Oscars, focusing on talking about inclusion of women. This feels condescending after a while, and I stop caring, even though I agree to an extent. Do you get annoyed as well when you hear these speeches? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, what, rightly or wrongly, one of the common complaints we hear from, from certain people about the Oscars every year is they don't want to hear any sort of political message. They don't want to hear any type of a political speech one way or the other. We just don't want to hear that sort of stuff during the Oscars. My personal point of view has always been this. You know, Oscar winners are just people like you and me. And if they have certain issues or things that are important to them, and then they have this platform, this moment, this 45 seconds to say something that's important to them, fine. Whether it's something I agree with or not is kind of irrelevant. As far as getting annoyed by them, no, I, I, I don't get annoyed by it. Listen, somebody giving a speech after winning an award, regardless of what they say, as long as it isn't criminal, so whatever they say, whether I agree with it or disagree with it, it's not going to annoy me. It doesn't bother me. Like, for instance, I thought Joaquin Phoenix's speech was three degrees of crazy. Okay, fine. But did it annoy me? No. It's just a dude give up giving his speech. How does it affect me? Why is it a problem for me? I, 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 I got to admit, I don't understand why people that we as people, and I'll include myself in this sometimes, that we as people can be really thin skinned that just somebody giving up, getting up at a platform where they just received an honor and they say something that doesn't align with what I think. Therefore, I'm annoyed and I get triggered. I don't understand why that's a problem. Why should something that somebody stands up on some platform and speaks words that isn't inciting crime or violence, but, and somebody just speaks words. Why should that annoy me? I, I don't understand. I've never understood why that's supposed to bother me. I'm sitting at home. It's like, okay, that sounds a little crazy to me, but why would I allow that to bother me? You know, some people say, well, I don't like being preached at. Oh, okay. Then just don't listen while they talk. That's their moment. If they want to say something fine and you don't have to listen. It's just that simple. Come back into the room five minutes later. I don't know. The thing about the inclusion of women, though, that I think a lot of people just don't understand or don't want to understand is there has been for so long a massive hardcore agenda against women and making sure women know their place and all this kind of stuff and the opportunities given to women or lack thereof. There has been this overwhelming agenda against women for a long time and overwhelming negative attitudes towards women in this business for a long time. You may say it doesn't exist anymore. I've got a number of good friends of mine who are actresses in this business, in this town. And I, you know, one of them had an opportunity, you know, thought they had this opportunity, this really great opportunity only to have one of the executives sitting down in a private meeting with them that basically straight up told them, if you want this gig, you're going to have to drop your panties for me. I mean, that's just something that happens to women a lot. Now, I hear some people make the stupid excuse. Well, it happens to some men sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it does, but not anywhere near to the degree that it's happened to women. Now, I also don't believe that every single woman in the world and all of it throughout history has faced that sort of stuff, but a lot have. And I think I, as a man, can't even really fully comprehend or understand it because I've never had to face it myself. I've never had a door closed in my face just because of my gender. I, I've never been not granted an opportunity just because people look at me that I must be weak for it because of my gender. I, I've never really had that happen to myself personally, so I can't relate. And so when you consider the near century that in the entertainment industry, women have faced a lot of anti them agendas and a lot of terrible attitudes and all the and lack of opportunities and stuff like that, when you consider the fact that so many women for a century has had to face that stuff. And if the worst thing I've got to do now as a man is spend a couple of years hearing women really trying to drive attention to that point and drive attention to that matter, then I'd say that's not a bad trade-off. They face nearly a century of that bull crap. And for them to spend like maybe 10 years really drink, drawing attention to it and st making statements about it and wanting to make sure we keep moving forward and we don't move backwards, 
honestly, my question would be, why would we be bothered by that? Like maybe after a while it becomes a ringing in your ears and you just don't want to hear it. Okay, then you tune it out. But again, I go back to what I was saying before. I don't understand why it would annoy me or bother me. Um, I don't know. That's just kind of my thoughts on it. But believe me, man, you're not alone in that. Like that is a common refrain about we don't want to hear speeches about anything other than just movies once we get to the Oscars. I get it. And I think I kind of feel the same way. But at the same time, I sort of understand if somebody gets to that moment that if they want to speak something from their heart that's important to them, eh, you earned it. Go ahead and say it. I can listen to it or I cannot listen to it. It's completely up to me. Anyway, guys, I'm sure there's a lot of really strong feelings about that one way or the other. And I'm sure all of us have evolving feelings on the matter. Like how I feel about it right now is probably not the way I felt about it five years ago. And how I will feel about it five years from now will probably be a little different than I feel about it now. We're always evolving and changing and learning new things. But anyway, how do you guys feel about it right now? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. That will do it for me for now, guys. Thanks a lot for being here. My name is John Campia. And until the next video, bye-bye.